talk about something which has caught the attention of people, especially those on the online space. You can also uh, be part of that conversation. Uh, you can join us again uh, by tweeting at Channels Beam at Channels TV at Victor underscore MBIDI using the hashtag Channels Beam as well as Crypto Trade. And joining us to look at this is Bolaji Onibudo. He is the founder and CEO of Zenbit Digital Transaction Services Limited, where he leads and motivates the core team in engaging service providers and directing key resources towards desired results. Bolaji joins us via Zoom from Victoria Island in Lagos. Bolaji, it's a pleasure to have you on the program today. Good afternoon, uh, Victor. It's always a pleasure to be with you guys. Indeed, indeed. So, I mean, um, the market has pretty much been up and down in the past, um, or to use now the business term, uh, it's been bearish um, in the past few days. What's actually going on um, in the cryptocurrency market at the moment? Um, that's very true. Um, uh, you know, just before the Christmas and New Year, uh, there was a high demand and interest for uh, Bitcoin, which was um, uh, sort of like uh, uh, led by institutional investors. Uh, so a number of institutions, mostly in the U.S., are buying into and investing into Bitcoins. Uh, so that has driven the price up, uh, and there's been a lot of positive activity. Uh, the uh, advent of uh, decentralized finance, uh, known as DeFi um, protocols, which are new decentralized applications on block, blockchain uh, platforms like Ethereum. Those were already gaining a lot of uh, uh, interest, you know, providing loans, savings, and uh, new schemes like staking, where people can actually not only uh, buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or some of the other alternative coins, but now you can earn interest, uh, you know, sort of APY uh, on those assets as well. So that's driving a lot of demand. And, and obviously that led to, uh, that coupled with the institutional interest and a number of um, uh, news uh, uh, events like uh, now US banks can offer custod custodian services for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, as well as US banks can also now integrate with uh, blockchain networks to sort of facilitate payments uh, between clients. So, so that is driving a lot of um, you know, interest in the space and uh, re regulation is getting clearer and clearer. Here in Nigeria, the Nigerian Security and Exchange Commission has also um, uh, uh, you know, fixed, uh, uh, published a, um, a position, a formal position for the federal government on cryptocurrency and blockchain, digital assets, and so on. So uh, the demand was there. The price went up. Uh, all all, all new um, all time new eyes were set from twenty thousand to forty one thousand uh, three four hundred thereabouts. But uh, of course, whenever you have a bull run like that, there will be some consolidation. Some people would take profit. You know, people that have been there for weeks and years and months, they would take profit, and you start to see a lot of buy. And then, of course, there's the psychology play. If uh, the price remains in one area for, uh, you know, well over a week or several days and there is some resistance, you know, then you, so, you so, start to see more people selling. Yeah. So let me quickly just, just just coming as it is now, what would you advise people to do? Because like you said, um, there's going to be some profit taking um, at this point in time. And and but but also for people who just want to um, go in, uh, what should they be doing? What should they be looking at? Uh, what graph should they be looking at? Because like you said, the SEC here in Nigeria has made a clear um, statement on, in terms of policy and regulation. Uh, so it means it's going to excite Nigerians because one of the reasons that people were kind of skeptical was because they weren't sure about the regulations here in Nigeria. But now that you said the SEC has actually made pronouncements and statements, uh, for those newcomers, uh, what should they be looking at if they indeed want to invest um, in cryptocurrency? Quickly as we round up. So now that there is a clearer uh, uh, regulatory position, uh, and now uh, Bitcoin and other digital assets are being considered, uh, uh, you know, investment uh, securities. So people can then begin to look at who are the operators in the market that they could go to. Perhaps uh, as they would normally go to their 
you know, stock brokerage firms, issuing houses to buy, they need to start identify in who are the players. And, and SEC is working on that to uh, approve certain players that already uh, exist in the market that have put, uh, proved to be credible. Uh, and they're reviewing some of this. I'm, I'm sure uh, before uh, the second quarter, we, we would see, we'll get more information about that. But there are some international players, as well as local players like ourselves, that provide uh, brokerage services at Zenbit. Uh, we also have a, a platform online at zenbit.com that, uh, you know, would uh, give people the opportunity to get a play and, and, and start to invest. But uh, on the drop, on the recent drop, where there's a pullback in the market, where the, the price has come down a little by about 10, 15 percent this morning, yeah. uh, this was anticipated because, uh, of course, uh, after we run, it, things slow down and, and there's some slight correction, as you would normally have in, uh, in the stock market as well. And, and if you look at it, really, it's um, an opportunity to buy also. So it's, uh, it's like a case of, uh, is a cup full or half empty. So some people say that, wow, I can get in now uh, when there's a small pullback and then um, potentially uh, hope that uh, it, it goes up in the, in the medium to long term. All right, so let's hope um, you know the um, the the bulls this time around, uh, you know, knock off the bears in the market, and you know everything is all right, so that those who would going now with the potential and the hope that you know things will rise in the very nearest future would, of course, have the benefits of you know pocketing their gains. But I have to say thank you, Bolaji Onibudo, um, CEO of Zenbit um, Digital Services Transactional uh, Limited. Thanks again for joining us and sharing your thoughts on this. All right. Thank you very much, uh, um, Victor. Um, always, always a pleasure. All right, then. Go back to your trade. I'm sure you left your trade to join us. <laughs>